Hey everybody, it's Captain Kyle. I'm here with G1 Jazz, sealed in the box. Well, okay, this is another one of those counterfeits. It's fake jazz. I don't even know what kind of music that would be, but this is not an official Hasbro or Takara product. This is a fake one. And if you look closely, you can see that he doesn't even have the factory stickers on him. So that is a dead giveaway. If someone tries to pass this off as a real jazz, it's not especially no factory stickers. But we are gonna break him out of this beautiful box. And as you can see, it's got all the original artwork. It is very pretty. It's almost a shame to take him out of the box. All the original stuff on the back. You got your robot points. You got your tech spec artwork, all that stuff. But I'm gonna take him out and we're gonna see his quality so you can decide if you want him for your collection. Be right back. So if you've ever wondered what a bare naked jazz looks like, probably a little embarrassed. No stickers, no numbers, no anything. There it is right there. It did come with stickers. I hope all of them are included. There's no numbers on them. So I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful as far as putting them on and probably be looking at some reference pictures. He does come with all his missiles right there. His nice shiny gun, his missile launcher, that plugs right into the back and we'll be testing that later. And of course, a tech spec decoder. And for those who wanna pretend this is from a later release of Jazz, we actually have a rub sign. Comes with instructions too. Not a lot of steps, but I'm gonna go ahead and get Jazz made up all purdy like and put on his stickers and you don't have to stick around for that. This ain't Patriot Prime. So we will just do a little and there he goes. He's all, well, mostly dressed. He's got a bunch of stickers on him. Now, apparently what kind of sucks is getting this particular one that had a lot of the factory stickers, but it didn't appear to have all the stickers, like the little martini logos that go on the doors. I couldn't find them. There's also the piece when he's in robot mode, you'll see that is missing. Now I could contact the seller and see if they'll send me a sticker sheet. That would be nice. Or I could just go to some place like one of the label recreating places and uh, see if I can get a set of jazz labels and go from there. That might be the easier way to go. But here he is in his Porsche vehicle mode. Now he rolls mostly fine. Problem with this mold and that of like Prowl and Blue Streak is you can misalign the tires pretty easily in transforming it. And I did need to transform him in order to put on all the stickers that I could. But overall he rolls pretty well with a, you know, he needs his suspension looked at probably. But great detailing. I can't really tell this apart other than the lack of stickers. And that could just be normal from an actual G1 Jazz. Now the Jazz that I used to have was actually a Diaclone European one pre-transformer. So I never got a G1 Jazz. I had the one before it, but I would be hard pressed to tell this from an original other than the fact that it looks so fresh. It's not yellowed, not dirty and transforming it. It was kind of stiff. So if you're just looking for a Jazz, that looks like the G1. I mean, I wouldn't suggest trying to pass it off as G1 because that would be fucking stupid and hurtful and also fraud. But if you just want a G1 Jazz without getting the uh, rather large price tag, of getting an original and having it in nice white clean condition, again, the stickers, I'm not pleased with it. You might get it from AliExpress and get all the stickers. I've experienced this before where they haven't had the factory stickers, but they had the other stickers. Sometimes they have the factory stickers, but not the numbered stickers. It's just a pain in the ass. My gnaw I got and it didn't come with factory stickers, just the numbered ones. So it still looks good, but it doesn't look quite complete. But you might not care stickers, to be honest. I love the new toys that don't have stickers because I don't really like putting them on. I do okay, but. All right, let's put him in robot mode and check him out. I do have to say transforming him, he's a little stiff, but it's a brand new toy. I would expect it to be a little stiff. I'm taking great care in moving around the parts because A, I don't want to break it and B, it's a knockoff. I don't want to break it. 
well, a third party counterfeit. But while it's stiff, it's still actually quite nice. It does seem to have pretty good quality. All the parts move that should move. The doors, a little stiff. Again, I'm taking extreme care transforming it just because it is so stiff. So there he is, a counterfeit G1 Jazz. Now we will arm him. But I mean, looking at him, I mean, yes, there's the sticker missing from the silver plate underneath. Some of the other stickers were present, so I put them on. When I was younger, I could read those instructions and I cheerfully put the stickers wherever I thought was right. I take a little bit more care. I didn't put all the stickers that were provided with this guy on him, but the majority, the important ones, and I still think he looks nice. He's got his Autobot symbols. He's got his Porsche symbols. You can see on the back there, I put those stickers on. The missile launcher actually launches the missile if you can get it to stay inside, which even with G1s was sometimes a challenge. Not the best, but if you catch the springs right, it can probably go flying across the room and get caught by one of my cats. And But I'll just, there it went. Now, I've never been that fond of the missile launcher on the toy, just because it's a pain in the ass to shove into the back. And he didn't have it in the show. The gun fits fine into his fist. And there he is, a G1 Jazz counterfeit. Looks beautiful, gleaming, basically indistinguishable from G1, other than the fact that an actual G1 would really be much dirtier, probably a lot of uh, sticker wear, probably played with. I mean, I played with mine. Of course, some might feel it's a reissue. There was, I believe, some reissues of Jazz, but the mold I don't think is in good a shape as some of the other G1 stuff that they've reissued. They did use this mold, obviously, for Ricochet, AKA Stepper. But he looks very good. Posability, I mean, he's G1. What do you want? The legs are together, so he can't kick. This shit can fall off. I was never super clear on how this is supposed to plug into the back. It doesn't really show it in the directions and it's not super obvious. His arms are actually not too bad as far as he bends at the elbow and you can move it back and forth these arms feel slightly loose, but not too bad. I mean, they're not really that floppy, but they do move easily. The head, of course, does not turn. No twisting at the waist. He's G1. Imagination! That's what you gotta use. Overall, it's disappointing that it didn't come with all the stickers, but other than that, I'm pretty pleased with the quality and the feel of this jazz. He will be going up on my shelf and he will look really good next to all the other versions of Jazz. I mean, again, I had the original Diaclone, I think it was from Italy or something like that. It was a transformer of both him and Sideswipe. So I never actually got the actual Hasbro releases, but that was fine by me. But he looks really good. The quality seems really good. He's got diecast parts. He's got all his weapons. Other than the stickers, he's pretty perfect. And again, I hate putting on stickers, so. I may not even bother getting those additional stickers or I'll ask, you know, Patriot Prime to put them on for me. He'll probably do a video. Fixing Captain Kyle's fuck ups. Oh, he wasn't quite all the way extended, so I pushed him out a bit and he launched his missile. So this guy cost me in the beautiful box. This counterfeit was $52 plus tax. Shipping was free. I'll put a link down in the description. So if you'd like to get this guy, you can feel free to get them from the same source that I got them from. I'll also put some links to eBay if you're more comfortable with that. And while you're debating whether or not you want to get this very nice, but definitely counterfeit version of Jazz, you can check out this video over here where I compare his Mold Brother Ricochet, the reissue, to the Generation Select version. And of course, if you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe if you'd like, hit the notification bell, We'll see you next time, and as always, have fun and good hunting.